Basil I, called the Macedonian Greek, Basilios ho Makedon Basilios o Makedon, 811 August 29, 886 was a Byzantine emperor who reigned from 867 to 886. Born a simple peasant in the theme of Macedonia, he rose in the imperial court, and usurped the imperial throne from Emperor Michael III r. 842 to 867. Despite his humble origins, he showed great ability in running the affairs of state, leading to a revival of imperial power and a renaissance of Byzantine art. He was perceived by the Byzantines as one of their greatest emperors, and the Macedonian dynasty, which he founded, ruled over what is regarded as the most glorious and prosperous era of the Byzantine Empire. <laughs> From peasant to emperor Basil was born to peasant parents in late 811 or sometime in the 830s in the estimation of some scholars at Cheriupolis in the Byzantine theme of Macedonia an administrative division corresponding to the area of Adrianople in Thrace. The name of his father is unknown, but the name of his grandfather was Myktes, his mother was named Pankalo, Pankalo and her father was called Leo. His ethnic origin is unknown, and has been a subject of debate. During Basil's reign, an elaborate genealogy was produced that purported that his ancestors were not mere peasants, as everyone believed, but descendants of the Arsacid kings of Armenia, and also of Constantine the Great. The Armenian historians Samuel of Ani and Stephen of Taran record that he hailed from the village of Thil in Taran. In contrast, Persian writers such as Hamza al-Isfahani, or al-Tabari call both Basil and his mother Saikulabi, an ethnogeographic term that usually denoted the Slavs, but can also be interpreted as a generic term encompassing the inhabitants of the region between Constantinople and Bulgaria. Claims have therefore been made for an Armenian, Slavic, or indeed, Armeno-Slavonic, origin for Basil I. The name of his mother points to a Greek origin on the maternal side. The general scholarly consensus is that Basil's father was, probably, of Armenian origin, and settled in Byzantine Thrace. The author of the only dedicated biography of Basil I in English has concluded that it is impossible to be certain what the ethnic origins of the emperor were, though Basil was definitely reliant on the support of Armenians in prominent positions within the Byzantine Empire. One story asserts that he had spent a part of his childhood in captivity in Bulgaria, where his family had, allegedly, been carried off as captives of the Khan Krum r. 803 in 813. Basil lived there until 836, when he and several others escaped to Byzantine-held territory in Thrace. Basil was ultimately lucky enough to enter the service of Theophilitses, a relative of the Caesar Bardas the uncle of Emperor Michael III, as a groom. While serving Theophilitses, he visited the city of Patras, where he gained the favor of Danielis, a wealthy woman who took him into her household and endowed him with a fortune. He also earned the notice of Michael III by his abilities as a horse tamer and in winning a victory over a Bulgarian champion in a wrestling match, he soon became the Byzantine emperor's companion, confidant, and bodyguard Simeon Magister describes Basil in fitting terms for a champion wrestler, he was most outstanding in bodily form and heavy set, his eyebrows grew together, he had large eyes and a broad chest, and a rather downcast expression." On Emperor Michael's orders, Basil divorced his wife Maria and married Eudokia Ingerina, Michael's favorite mistress, in around 865. During an expedition against the Arabs, Basil convinced Michael III that his uncle Bardas coveted the Byzantine throne, and subsequently murdered Bardas with Michael's approval on April 21, 866. Basil then became the leading personality at court and was invested in the now vacant dignity of Kaiser Caesar, before being crowned co-emperor on May 26, 866. This promotion may have included Basil's adoption by Michael III, himself a much younger man. It was commonly believed that Leo VI, Basil's successor and reputed son, was really the son of Michael. Although Basil seems to have shared this belief and hated Leo, the subsequent promotion of Basil to Caesar and then co-emperor provided the child with a legitimate and imperial parent and secured his succession to the Byzantine throne. It is notable that when Leo was born, Michael III celebrated the event with public chariot races, whilst he pointedly instructed Basil not to presume on his new position as junior emperor. When Michael III started to favor another courtier, Basiliskianos, Basil decided that his position was being undermined. 
Michael threatened to invest Basiliscianos with the imperial title and this induced Basil to pre-empt events by organizing the assassination of Michael on the night of September 23-24, 867. Michael and Basiliscianos were insensibly drunk following a banquet at the palace of Anthemos when Basil, with a small group of companions including his father Bardas, brother Marinos, and cousin Alien, gained entry. The locks to the chamber doors had been tampered with and the chamberlain had not posted guards, both victims were then put to the sword. On Michael III's death, Basil, as an already acclaimed co-emperor, automatically became the ruling basilis. Reign Basil I inaugurated a new age in the history of the Byzantine Empire, associated with the dynasty which he founded, the so-called Macedonian dynasty. This dynasty oversaw a period of territorial expansion, during which Byzantium was the strongest power in Europe and the eastern Mediterranean. It is remarkable that Basil I became an effective and respected monarch, ruling for 19 years, despite being a man with no formal education and little military or administrative experience. Moreover, he had been the boon companion of a debauched monarch and had achieved power through a series of calculated murders. That there was little political reaction to the murder of Michael III is probably due to his unpopularity with the bureaucrats of Constantinople because of his disinterest in the administrative duties of the imperial office. Also, Michael's public displays of impiety had alienated the Byzantine populace in general. Once in power Basil soon showed that he intended to rule effectively and as early as his coronation he displayed an overt religiosity by formally dedicating his crown to Christ. He maintained a reputation for conventional piety and orthodoxy throughout his reign. Domestic policies To secure his family on the throne, Basil I raised his eldest son Constantine in 869 and his second son Leo in 870 to the position of co-emperor. Because of the great legislative work which Basil I undertook, he is often called the Second Justinian. Basil's laws were collected in the Basilica, consisting of sixty books, and smaller legal manuals known as the Isagoge. Leo VI was responsible for completing these legal works. The Basilica remained the law of the Byzantine Empire down to its conquest by the Ottomans. Ironically, this codification of laws seems to have begun under the direction of the Caesar Bardas who was murdered by Basil. Basil's financial administration was prudent. Consciously desiring to emulate Emperor Justinian I R. 527-565, Basil also initiated an extensive building program in Constantinople, crowned by the construction of the Nea Ecclesia Cathedral. His ecclesiastical policy was marked by good relations with Rome. One of his first acts was to exile the Patriarch of Constantinople, Photios, and restore his rival Ignatios, whose claims were supported by Pope Adrian II. However, Basil had no intention of yielding to Rome beyond a certain point. The decision of Boris I of Bulgaria to align the new Bulgarian church with Constantinople was a great blow to Rome, which had hoped to secure it for herself. But on the death of Ignatios in 877, Photios became patriarch again, and there was a virtual, though not a formal, breach with Rome. This was a watershed event in conflicts that led to the Great Schism that ultimately produced the Roman Catholic Church and the Eastern Orthodox Church as separate ecclesiastical entities. <laughs> <laughs> Foreign affairs Emperor Basil's reign was marked by the troublesome ongoing war with the heretical Paulicians, centered on Tephrike on the upper Euphrates, who rebelled, allied with the Arabs, and raided as far as Nicaea, sacking Ephesus. Basil's general, Christopher, defeated the Paulicians in 872, and the death of their leader, Chrysokir, led to the definite subjection of their state. There was the usual frontier warfare with the Arabs in Asia Minor, which led to little concrete gain, but the empire's eastern frontier was strengthened. The island of Cyprus was recovered, but retained for only seven years. Basil was the first Byzantine emperor since Constance II r. 641 to, 668 to pursue an active policy to restore the empire's power in the west. 
Basil allied with Holy Roman Emperor Louis II r. 850 against the Arabs and sent a fleet of 139 ships to clear the Adriatic Sea of their raids. With Byzantine help, Louis II captured Bari from the Arabs in 871. The city eventually became Byzantine territory in 876. However, the Byzantine position on Sicily deteriorated, and Syracuse fell to the Emirate of Sicily in 878. This was ultimately Basil's fault as he had diverted a relief fleet from Sicily to haul marble for a church instead. Although most of Sicily was lost, the general Nikephoros Phocas the Elder succeeded in taking Taranto and much of Calabria in 880. The successes in the Italian peninsula opened a new period of Byzantine domination there. Above all, the Byzantines were beginning to establish a strong presence in the Mediterranean Sea, and especially the Adriatic. Last years and succession Basil's spirits declined in 879, when his eldest and favorite son Constantine died. Basil now raised his youngest son, Alexander, to the rank of co-emperor. Basil disliked the bookish Leo, on occasion physically beating him, he probably suspected Leo of being the son of Michael III. In his later years, Basil's relationship with Leo was clouded by the suspicion that the latter might wish to avenge the murder of Michael III. Leo was eventually imprisoned by Basil after the detection of a suspected plot, but the imprisonment resulted in public rioting. Basil threatened to blind Leo but was dissuaded by Patriarch Photios. Leo was eventually released after the passage of three years. Basil died on August 29, 886, from a fever contracted after a serious hunting accident when his belt was caught in the antlers of a deer, and he was allegedly dragged 16 miles through the woods. He was saved by an attendant who cut him loose with a knife, but he suspected the attendant of trying to assassinate him and had the man executed shortly before he himself died. One of the first acts of Leo VI as ruling emperor was to rebury, with great ceremony, the remains of Michael III in the imperial mausoleum within the Church of the Holy Apostles in Constantinople. This did much to confirm in public opinion the view that Leo considered himself to have been Michael's son. Family Aspects of the family relationships of Basil I are uncertain and open to a variety of interpretations. The information given below should not be treated as comprehensive or definite. By his first wife Maria, Basil I had several children, including Bardas, Anastasia, who married the general Christopher. Constantine circa 865 September 3, 879, co-emperor to Basil from January 6, 868, to his death. According to George Alexandrovich Ostrogorsky, Constantine was betrothed to Ermengarde of Provence, daughter of Holy Roman Emperor Louis II and Engelberga in 869. The marital contract was broken in 871 when relations between Basil and Louis broke down, according to John Boswell's. Same sex unions in pre modern Europe. Basil was married second to Emperor Michael's elder sister Thecla, then to Michael's mistress Eudokia Ingerina. However, the Byzantine chroniclers, including Leo Grammaticus and Simeon Logothetes, state that the intercourse between Basil and Thecla was criminal, and therefore out of wedlock. By Eudokia Ingerina, Basil I officially had the following children Leo VI, who succeeded as Byzantine emperor and may actually have been a son of Michael III. Stephen I, Patriarch of Constantinople, who may also actually have been a son of Michael III. Alexander, who succeeded as Byzantine Emperor in 912. Anna Porphyrogenita, a nun at the convent of St. Euphemia in Petrion. Helena Porphyrogenita, a nun at the convent of St. Euphemia in Petrion. Maria Porphyrogenita, a mother of nuns at the convent of St. Euphemia in Petrion. In popular culture Harry Turtledove, a historian noted for his speculative fiction based on alternative history, has written several series set in a place called Videssos, which is a thinly disguised Byzantine empire. The Tale of Crispo's Trilogy, Crispo's Rising 1991, Crispo's of Videssos 1991, and Crispo's The Emperor 1994 are fictionalized tellings of the rise of Basil and his sons. 
Stephen Lawhead's book, Byzantium uses the succession of Basil I as seed for the conspiracy which occupies most of the novel. See also List of Byzantine emperors <laughs>